Now that we've taken a look at how to do plan and profile combinations, let's time to start working on our cross sections. So let's jump back over to our seed folder and grab our 2D seed file. Paste that over here into our sheet seeds. And I'm going to rename this one cross section start seed. Leave the DGN extension on here because this is going to be our seed file that we use to create all of our cross-section sheet definition DGN libraries. This is required to have a horizontal alignment profile and also a corridor. And so we'll go ahead and accept that name and enter into that file. Once in this file, in the Open Roads Modeling Workflow Geometry tab, we're going to go to Place Geometry. And I like using the feature definition Geom Scratch. You can set no de definition, that's fine as well. And I'm going to start at XY equals 0, 0. And we're in metric here, and I'm just going to use 1,000 meters. It's arbitrary. And then I'm going to set this at a due easterly direction. We'll accept that, and we will do a fit view. Now I'm going to right click in here in the examples workspace we have the ability to automatically open up two views so we'll take advantage of that and then in our first view we are going to assign this a profile or a profile by constant elevation so we'll locate our geometry reset and just give it an elevation and go ahead then and cancel out of that command and so now over in the second view we can switch this to our 3D view and then we can do a fit view. Now we need to actually make a template to build a corridor with so in the corridor tab you can go into the template creation dialog and expand down. I'm just going to go into my components folder and just make a temporary template here called null because we've got to have to build a corridor, but it doesn't have to have anything in it. So I'll right click and I'll add a new null point here. And in my precision input, I'll pick a point name of do not construct. And I'm going to locate it at the origin of 0, 0. And then we'll close that and close our library editor and save it. So now we'll select our geometry and we'll proceed then to build a corridor. We use our active profile and the name that was given by our feature definition and we will select our template that we just created called null accept that and then you can make it the entire range if you wish it doesn't really matter so we use the alt keys and accept the beginning and the end and it's a thousand meters I can make my interval anything I want to. We'll set it to 500 let that process. Once that corridor is created, then the last thing that we need to do is verify our drawing scales. And to do that, I like to go over to the models and into the model properties. And because these are cross sections, we're going to actually set these up at a default annotation scale of 1 to 100. And so let's go ahead and make that change. Make sure you make it in both of your views. So we'll set that in our 2D view and our 3D view. That's all we need to do. So we can close our properties, close our models, and then make sure to go to your 3D view, make that active, and then save settings. It's important to, to end this seed file where that 3D model is your active model. So that concludes creating our cross-section start seed that we will use then to create all of our DGN libraries. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.